Street friends. Hi! For those who are new in this video, hi! Welcome to Upstreet Online. I am your Ate Mitch. So, viewers, kids, I have a question for you. If you could create your own holiday, what would it be? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, if I were to create a on my own holiday, it would be a recreational day. Recreational day wherein you can, you know, do some recreational activities like hiking, swimming, just to be free from stress. You can have a relaxing and peaceful day. That is my own holiday or if I were to create my own holiday. So how about you? Please let me know in the comment section below. I would really love to read your ideas. So, do you still remember our big idea last week? Yes, it's peace. And what is peace? Finding a way to work it out. So, do you still remember our bottom line? What is our bottom line last week? Okay, don't fight with your family. Have you been practicing it? Not fighting with your family or any of the members of the family? Okay, that's good to hear. So right now, we have our new bottom line for this week. And that is, peace is more important than winning. Always remember that, that peace is more important than winning. So let's move on to our game. This is how you play Buzzer Beater. I will give you a puzzle to solve, like this one. This puzzle has six letters and your hint is fruit. Can you solve it before the buzzer goes off? We'll find out. The answer is banana. Great job. But that one was practice. Let's go for real this time. This puzzle has eight letters and is one word. Your hint is a game. Can you beat the buzzer? The answer is baseball. Did you beat the buzzer? Spectacular! Let's take it up a notch. This puzzle has 17 letters and is 4 words. Your hint is baseball game food. Can you beat the buzzer? The answer is hot dogs and peanuts. Did you beat the buzzer? WTG or way to go. Final round. This puzzle has 18 letters and is four words. Your hint is baseball equipment. Can you beat the buzzer? The answer is bats, gloves and bases. Did you beat the buzzer? You are all champions. Thanks for playing. Buzzer beater. He's the chosen one. He's the champion. The winner for all time. With me to the end. Jesus is my friend. He's always by my side. Anything I face, he will be my strength I'm his and he is mine I'm forever free, nothing's stopping me Because he gave his life Shout it out, it's not over I am more than a conqueror In Christ in me, I have the victory I win in him, I win Just 
time. Ben, come play kickball with us. Ben, it'll be so much fun. Ben, be on my team. So I get out there, right? And we're having an awesome time. But my team is down by one. I hit a grounder right in between second and third. Then the guy threw it to first and everyone started calling me out. What? What are they talking about? No, I wasn't. I was clearly safe. I don't know how they could have missed it, but I was not about to give up my afternoon to fight with my friends who are clearly as blind as bats and couldn't see that I was safe. So, I just left the game. Oh yeah, like I'm gonna FaceTime with them right now. Pfft, forget it. Okay, Ben, now hold up. I get it. No one likes being called out when you thought you were safe. But there's a deeper problem here. Do you really want to treat your friends like that? I mean, come on. Isn't their friendship a little more important than getting on base? So there's a guy we can read about in the Bible who could have fought back a few times when people were trying to take something from him. And they were trying to take something way more important than a base hit. See, Isaac lived at a time when there was a massive famine happening. Famines would happen when there was no rain. And when there was no rain, food doesn't grow. And you don't have anything to eat or drink. So during a famine, water is really important. So in order to get water, Isaac had to dig a well. Isaac dug and dug and dug. I mean, it takes a long time to dig a well, but finally, Isaac found water. Isaac dug a few wells and finally had water for his crops, his animals, and his family. But the people in the area wanted him to leave so they could have his water. They wanted to fight him for his wells, but Isaac didn't want to fight. Isaac wanted peace. He knew that peace with people was more important than winning a fight about wells. And he knew that God would always take care of him. So he packed up his stuff and he moved. Once he got to his new land, he dug some more wells. So again, Isaac had water for his family, crops, and animals. Life was good. But check it out. The people in the new land, they started arguing with Isaac too, saying the water belonged to them since they lived on the land first. They wanted to fight Isaac like the first town did. And you would think that Isaac would be so frustrated. You'd think he'd say, enough, I've already moved once, I did all this work, I'm staying. But he didn't fight back. Instead, he was like, fine, you can have it. I don't wanna fight. He gave them the wells and moved again. Isaac had a right to stay. They were his wells, but he knew that peace is more important than winning. Isaac and his family moved to a couple more places, 
each place he went. The people came to fight over the wells, and each time Isaac chose to pick up and move. He knew that God wanted him to choose peace and not to fight with the people and try to win. Isaac and his family did finally move to a place where no one bothered them, and God gave them water again. They could finally settle down. But through all of that, even though he was probably frustrated with having to move all the time, Isaac knew God wanted him to choose peace. And Isaac knew God was on his side and would take care of him, even when he had to keep moving. And the same is true for us. God wants us to choose peace whenever we can. In fact, here's what God wants for us. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. See, right there, God asks us to live at peace with everyone. Peace is more important than winning. Isaac knew that. He did everything he could, as far as it depended on him, to keep the peace. And you know who else lived this out? Jesus. Jesus taught us that peace is way more important than making a point or getting our way or even being right. Jesus came to show us what living in peace really looks like. For us, that's going to look like if you're first in line and someone wants to butt in, you let them. You don't fight about it. It's letting your friend pick the video game or the movie. It's letting your brother or sister have the front seat even when you know you called shotgun first. It's remembering that peace is more important than winning. So let's pray about that now. God, thank you for taking care of us and being with us. Please help us to want to have peace. When we get frustrated, please help us remember that having peace is more important than winning. Thank you so much for loving us. Amen. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Hey, grab a friend and try repeating this verse sometime this month. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. participating and listening throughout the video. I really hope you had fun and I really hope you learned something out of our bottom line, our member reverse, and our big idea. So again, what's our bottom line? Yes, peace is more important than winning. Always remember that and I hope you will practice that bottom line for this week and throughout your day or your the rest of your day okay okay kids viewers let's see each other next week here still online bye